Morse in Touch for the iPad is designed for students, educators and engineers to be able to design and simulate circuits. In this third getting started video, we'll look at how Morse in Touch can be used for simulation and analysis. In this video, we're going to look at the response of a full bridge rectifier. To open the schematic, tap the circuit. Here we can see our circuit. Now to simulate it, we need to place down some simulation probes, and these can be accessed from the component's toolbar. In this case, we are going to use voltage probes, and we can simply drag the voltage probes onto the wires that we are interested in. Clicking the Run button will run an interactive simulation. Interactive simulations allow us to run the simulation and see the values on each of the probes. During an interactive simulation, we can also toggle any interactive components to see the effect this has on the circuit. Another way in which we can run an interactive simulation is via the grapher. If we open the grapher, we can see the graphical response of our circuit and we can also change interactive controls, such as the switch. Here we can see the response of when we open the switch on our full bridge rectifier. On the grapher we have a number of tabs. If we open the probes in the engine tab, we can see what each of the plots corresponds to, and we can enable and disable that plot. The next tab is our cursors tab. We can use cursors to find the value at different points within our response. To move a cursor, we can simply drag it across the screen to the point we are interested in. Cursors show results for all the probes on our schematic. If we are only interested in a certain period of the response, we can use a trigger to extract that information. Triggers can be set up to react upon a rising or falling edge. Next we have the display tab. The display tab highlights key characteristics in our response and also allows us to change the background color between black and white. Finally we have the export tab. The export tab allows us to extract the data and email that data as a CSV file. Return for schematic by pressing the back button. We're going to return for circuits view and have a look at the response of another circuit, this time an op amp band pass filter. Here we can see the circuit we've already created. What we're going to do is have a look at some of the simulation settings for the AC analysis. And here we can change settings such as the start and stop frequency and the number of points. To run this AC analysis, tap run and it will open the grapher and show us the response. For more information on Multisim Touch, visit ni.com forward slash multisim forward slash mobile.